everybody, welcome back to Outer Wilds Echoes of the Eye. We're heading straight back to the Stranger uh, to explore this bizarre shrouded ring world that we find ourselves on. And uh, yeah, a couple of things I've noticed since the last one. First of all, uh, I got myself completely in a, a bit of a tiz about the side that we're entering on. And, and now it's, it's perfectly obvious to me. Um, yeah, I, I realized between videos, uh, as did Rakoth in the comments, thank you very much, that there's two sides to this flat wheel thing. And it makes sense when you think about it. That's the second side that we entered that brings us out on the little shoreline by the raft that we can push away. And then that's the side that we first entered with that we Oh. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. One moment. Let me just rearrange myself. This is the side... There we go. That goes to the weird wooden shack, which... It it was still, a, I insist, probably one of the most jarring things I've ever seen in this game. But uh, anyway, no matter. We'll re-enter on this side because the other side, the one that uh, plunges you into the river from the wooden shack, uh, descends into rapids, which um, we, seeing as we're going to have to uh, start a constructed, um, organized recce of this place is probably not the most conducive to uh, what we're after. Um, thank you very much to everybody in the comments as well. I meant to say last time, I completely forgot, for entering into the DLC before end or end before DLC debate. Um, <laughs> much appreciated. I appreciate all of your views and thank you very much for sharing them. Um, not only in the YouTube comments, but also on the Discord and in, uh, in Reddit. Um, now, before we go in, I want to take a real quick look at the rumor board because that's filled up. But before I look at the rumor board, look at the star map. How cool is that? We've actually got a little diagram, a little image now of the stranger. Very cool. So, of course, I had to dip into here. Oh, hello. We've got one for Brittle Hollow. Interesting. I had to dip into here really quickly to uh, set the waypoint. So, let's go and see what's actually new. Yeah, we've got a few points here. We'll come back to those in a second. Let's clear out what, uh, what's going on in Brittle Hollow, the Southern Observatory. Oh, the new more sensitive locator the Nomai built in the observatory was unable to detect the, and any trace of the eye's signal. Based on their knowledge of the quantum moon, the Nomai believe the eye was in a distant orbit around the sun. Okay, I feel like we already heard that, but okay, we'll roll with it. So, we have new... In Did I pick up any new information on the stranger itself? No. We can take the marker off, though. We've got information on the reservoir, which is at the top of the dam before it breaks. Ooh. Okay, we're picking up some names now for these places. So the cliffside building was the one with the, um, what I thought was sort of some sort of burning green bangle. The burning bangle building. Um, <laughs> River Lowlands. Oh, this is the bit with the bridge, with the picture house on the left bank, and with that gallery on the right bank. So let's take a look at this. A low-lying region near the entrance to the Stranger. There are wooden buildings along the banks of the river. I found several ornate metal artifacts inside a workshop surrounded by ghost matter. Right. We did indeed. Yeah, those artifacts I thought might have been some sort of lantern carrier thing, but the lanterns don't fit inside there. But they do fit inside the projectors, which is rather handy. And uh, further down river, the Cinder Isles which we've yet to visit while well, they're in one piece, come to think of it. A pair of small rocky islands connected by a village of stilt houses. There's more to explore everywhere. Uh, oh, and the sealed vault. Interesting. I'm presuming that the sealed vault is what we found in that first slide reel. The thing that closed up and then they shone the light through the pillar and the chain and etc, etc. But why that's directly linked from the River Lowlands? Interesting. A sl oh, wow. Oh, we get to view the whole slide reel. Amazing. A slide reel from the River Lowlands showed a... Oh, that makes sense. St showed a strange vault being closed and sealed with chains and a glowing symbol. So I guess that does actually make sense because we picked that thing up from that building there, I believe. Now, we did see multiple projection houses and uh, multiple galleries. I'm, just, I'm really intrigued by those pink paintings in the galleries because I'm sure at least one of them changed from one gallery to another. Right, um, whilst I'm here, I want to do something potentially extremely silly. So let's get on with it, shall we? Right, flip this cover over here, and away! <laughs> oh, clatter, bang, crash. 
Another successful landing. <laughs> I do hope I won't need to get back into ship again anytime soon. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, it's cleared off. It's probably gone and plummeted into the sun. So, let's get into The Stranger. Love the design of this airlock. Oh! <laughs> I was too busy admiring the, uh, the spinny paddles. Nearly missed the, uh, the queue. So, something else that occurred to me. I mentioned last time that we've now got two things going pop that we need to monitor, but where is one of them is a huge burning ball of gas and um, sort of fission reaction, I think. I probably said completely the wrong thing. I don't know what it actually is. But a huge thing that can in no way be influenced. Maybe there is a way that we could influence the dam and stop it from popping in the first place. I really thought it was going to be halfway down the river, though. Go! <laughs> um, ooh, what I should do... What I... Is that a thing? Oh no, whoa, 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 whoa. There's a crate there. Why is there a crate there? Um, what I should really be doing is working out where the hell I'm actually uh, <laughs> intending to go. Right, hold on. Whoa, off. So, there'll be another ramp, uh, uh, ramp raft along soon. Let's take another look inside this little oh there's the sun i did comment before that i couldn't see where the sun was hmm i have a little bit of a theory that i'm going to go into later on about those big green things that unfolded from the uh the rotating arms out there but i'll uh, i'll cross that particular bridge yes here we go look at that the other gallery that we entered had that there ringed planet in that portrait. Now, something I did notice as well. Each one of these has a varying number of candles in the picture. I don't know whether I don't I don't think that changed. I also don't think that this picture was any different to uh, to the one in the other uh, place. I think it's literally just the positioning of that pla um, planet that actually changed. But I wonder whether the number of the number of candles in each picture has any sort of bearing on anything so i wonder whether you maybe have to match the number of candles to the number of lanterns so there's four candles in this picture no <laughs> never mind that did precisely dick um hmm got awfully dark in these recesses though hasn't it wait is that a thing? Maybe that's a thing. Maybe the one... Because I've got... To, I, I can't help but feel there's got to be some sort of significance of a planet moving. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> As if... Right, how do, I, how do I operate my legs? Hold on. There we go. Oh. So, it's got to be the significance of the planet, surely? So each portrait... Oh, hello! Uh, oh, oh, oh! Flickery, buzzy, worry, worry, worry. This is what I was saying. Okay, so that's those things deploying now. Those, those green sheets. Now, when that happened before, when I was exploring the, um, the ghosty building down there, the, the, that non-lantern, lantern-holding artifact, um, these things deployed. And I initially thought, well, maybe they're solar panels. But then, coupled with the fact that it feels like the sun wasn't there when the loop came to an end, maybe it wasn't that the, moon, the, the, the sun wasn't out there, maybe it's just that we weren't near the sun anymore. So maybe they aren't solar panels, perhaps they're solar sails. I wonder if that's some sort of defense mechanism. Maybe the stranger knows that things are about to go belly up in the system and deploys solar sails to to ride the wave of, of the solar activity emanating from uh hmm, emanating from the um Oh dear lord, what have I walked into? <gasps> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> 
in the spirit of actually finishing my sentence, I'm going to pretend I haven't seen that for a moment. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, maybe maybe the stranger rides the the wave of the the supernova out of the system before any harm can come to it, which is why we didn't actually die at the end of the loop. Instead, we were recalled by the Ash Twin Project. Huh. Oh, that's that's oh god. We weren't recalled, were we? That was literally just the end of the recording as the re the the memories from the Ash Twin Project mask storage medium were sent back in time. Oh god, our Harthian's still alive. In in one plane of existence, our Harthian is still on board. <laughs> the stranger from the last episode. Anyway, 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 it doesn't matter. Right. <sighs> Let's get those confusing thoughts out of my head and instead drown them out with even more confusing thoughts. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what have I walked into? What have I walked into? Well, okay, so, I mean, one thing we kind of got a better idea of what these artifacts are now. It looks like they are some sort of lantern, and it's it's like it's this. <laughs> we found this bizarre funeral mausoleum here with this strange ghostly green blue flame in the middle, and our Harthian's first instinct is to roast a bloody marshmallow. I mean, okay, <laughs> one in Rome. Um, <laughs> so. Um, yeah, there's lots of dead creatures in here, and they're all a bit weird, and they're all very dead. And they're all holding these things. Okay. Well, they don't seem to be doing an awful lot. I mean, not the, not the dead creatures, but the artifacts. They've got a flame inside them, but they're not doing much. I wonder if, if I feel a bit rude, but I wonder if I can take one of, from from one of them. They all look very, very rotted. Right, they've all, uh, not all. Have they all? They have all. They have all. They've all got those bracelets with those sort of green pearls on them as well. I wonder if that's, if it was just one or two. Oh, this one hasn't, but instead has this bracelet of of this green. Green sort of gemstone. Okay. Right. Uh, anything of any... Oh, God, I just realised what they're strapped to as well. They're not boats. They're some sort of... Some sort of restraining contraptions to presumably keep them in place. Wait, are these cubbies... Do these cubbies have any sort of holes, top or bottom? These look almost like they're ready to sort of go down chutes and deploy to something. Right. Okay. Uh, I don't think we're going to get... That looks like... Is that some sort of... It looks like some sort of bell. It's inactive at the moment. Right. Um, I might pass up the offer to doze off down here feels slightly creepy, but I am wondering, I've probably left it too late now because I've got a feeling we're probably going to be hit by a tidal wave any second. Uh, yep. But I wonder, do I have, oh god, that thing's going to pop any second. Do I have time to go and grab one of those artifacts from the building before damn go bang bang? Oh, look at this. Of course, this is where the, um... Grab you. Out! That little shack is where the... The restraining half-boat thing, that isn't a half-a-boat, um, was lined up. So can I swiftly... I wonder if this thing's weatherproofed. We'd found out last time when I moved on to the uh, the other area down the river that this building was still standing. I remember zooming in. Wait, I keep on getting... Something happens here. I keep getting caught in the door. Right. We can't interact 
Ooh. I just spotted this control. Oh, God, there it goes. Right, my time may be limited. Um, I just know it says controls up in the, the top right there. Focus and conceal. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, well, that, <laughs> that puts paid to that. We do not get protected from the elements. Yeah. Yeah. Thankfully, this place only gets partially flooded. Uh, well, I tell you what, I know where I want to go next. I want to see if I can get over to that other gallery that we visited last time. And... That way, please. Which was there, that big building. Oh, and that's going to be flooded out as well. I'm assuming that's... That's the same as this place, and it's another sort of... Well, the last place we were in, and it's kind of a, a mausoleum. Let's head on over there. And that way, please, if you don't mind. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh, abandoned ship. <laughs> abandoned ship. Okay. So... This place on a bit of a slant now. Uh, I forgot about that. So let's drop that there. So let's see if the uh, if the theory rings true. Let's get all the lanterns out of this picture. Let's see if this opens something up again. Yes, it does. Amazing. Pick up this artifact. Oh, this place is above the waterline still. Wonderful. I mean, not all that wonderful. Still full of scary creatures. Okay. But at least we've got a toasty, non-doused... <laughs> um, if this gives me a prompt to get in, then I, I'm not going to be amused. No, okay, fine. thought for a moment that might have allowed me to, uh, to actually climb in. So it... It looks as though I can't pick up... I can't pick up this flame. Conceal. Focus. You do both? You can do both. Okay, interesting. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I don't know what this is going to achieve, but I just feel for the badness of it, I want to try and ring this bell. Oh, it worked! <laughs> it actually did ring! Amazing. Served no purpose by the looks of it, though. Apart from bringing these creatures into, uh, into stark focus. But, okay. Let's head on out. So, then... Hmm, I was thinking to myself as well in between videos, it kind of stands to reason that pretty much every location has two states, flooded and unflooded, which means we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to explore everywhere twice. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh, what's that over there? Right, so, let's see. These buildings are obviously uh, not anywhere that we're going to be able to explore soon. We've already been into the picture house with the slide reel. Where did we get the slide reel? I think... I got the slide reel from that building there, didn't I? Yes, that's right. Which is obviously flooded out now, so that's a bit of a no-go area. But I think maybe that's rising out of the water just enough for us to still go and explore. Can I... Yes. Awesome, I can still walk here. Yeah, unknown language. I'm, I'm assuming we're going to get to pick up this language at some point. Um. Oh. Hold on, a quick star system check. Are we... Are we still actually rotating in the night sky, or are we moving? Like I said, I, I'm kind of wondering about the theory of... Uh, perhaps those are solar sails, and perhaps we're... Hello! Well, um, I wasn't expecting to see you here. That is very much the eye of the universe. What are you doing here? 
it's it's quite quite a bit different in the middle though interesting that it's still the same hello uh no jetpack fuel jetpack fuel oh <gasps> why look at this place I mean, we, we've acquired it and used it as jetpack fuel, but look at these things. It's got a flame. It's got a flame on the tank. And this is so, like some sort of handheld gun thing on the end of a hose. They aren't jetpacks, they're flamethrowers. They burned this place. Raised it to the ground. But... Maybe... This, this this looks like the resident creature's equivalent of an eye shrine. Maybe this this race were in pursuit of the, the eye of the universe as well. They even burned the stairs. Bloody hell. <laughs> they really wanted the, this place forgotten about, didn't they? So this place, yeah, I guess was an eye shrine. Maybe this race were lured to this system like the Nomai were and were pursuing the eye of the universe on their own and they had the intelligence to realize that it was um it was a fickle plan and that it would lead to their doom so they basically decided to erase all trace of their quest um okay I mean, I am somewhat taking liberties with the information that's available to me, because that's basically nothing. But, let's move on. I would very much like to visit this place pre-flood, but, uh... Oh, wait. Oh! Oh! <laughs> there was me looking for a way to release it from the dock, and it's not actually in the dock, because it's flooded. So, uh... Let's try this way. Is there a path that way as well? Oh, 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 oh my gosh, I missed it, but I just caught sight of Brittle Hollow and uh, Hollow's Lantern through that window then. It looked bloody far away, so I've got a funny feeling. Oh, oh my god, look! Whoa! That gallery just toppled over. Oh shit, we're gonna have to watch out for that. That's, that's a bit risky. Uh, oh, this was the location... Oh, we're at the end of the loop. Pants. Oh, well, that's a good indication that we are at the end of the loop, then, when that, uh, when that tall gallery falls over. That's the, uh, hold on. That's the burning bangle building up there, um, which <laughs> I'm sure we'll get access to at some point, somehow. Oh, I crashed. Hello, that's a rock. Right. Our actions here are, uh, slightly fickle because we're not going to be able to get anywhere with any appreciable amount of time left. Ha! Huh. So I realise I've done a lot of waffling so far. I'm still in a bit of a head spin about this place, still trying to take things in. Um, maybe in our dying seconds, I dove left before. Maybe we could dive right and see if we can get anywhere over in that direction. See if we can work out what this big bell thing is on the end of these cables. That's a huge crane-like construction there. Is there anything... Is there anything to see? Wait. I want to just check it out before the loop ends. Maybe we can... Oh, hello. <gasps> is this some sort of diving bell? Oh, well, it's flooded anyway, whatever it is. Oh, partially flooded. What's up here? Why would I... Well, good evening. Um, hello. Ship log updated. There's another one of those bells, another one of those flames. And look at... Oh, wait, hold on. Is this the thing from the slide reel? Because look at that. There's three sets of chains, and the topmost one has that single sort of wave symbol that we found in the very first slide projection. Uh, so this thing... What? Opens? It's really bound up together, isn't it? Let's just hit it with stuff while the... Oh, there we go. We're being recalled. Huh. So I think we've got a few things to review now in the... Uh, in the ship's log, but... That... 
that is definitely the what is it some sort of casket or sarcophagus or something that was from the slide reel and it's in that diving bell hmm So what do we have? The submerged... Oh, re, did, honestly, that's all we uncovered? Okay, the submerged structure. Oh, and the steel... Wait, did I... Did I even... Oh, no, we do have extra points. Okay, so submerged structure is just the new one. Right, so there's nothing more... There's nothing more on the stranger. That's fine. We'll leave the submerged structure for just a moment. Um, Because that's kind of shrouded in mystery. And obviously an important point, seeing as it was in the... Um, in the slide in fact talking about the slides we can view them here can't we so yeah that single set of rings so that i think is that sarcophagus or whatever it is being sealed one of these creatures comes up and illuminates it to wrap the topmost chain around it but that's obviously somewhere different that's somewhere with like a rocky background by the looks of it it certainly wasn't inside that that submerged diving bell um i found a strange vault wrapped in chains and marked with three glowing symbols okay the slide reels from the river lowlands so the river lowlands still more to explore here um where did we not go in the river moorlands that was the first gallery that we went to and that was the picture house what was this kind of looks like it's just a little house um i need to start getting a strategy together as to sort of what i'm going to explore and when but uh yeah the cinder isles so interestingly the gallery in the cinder isles did topple over at the end oh and look at that that kind of shows you that there's not an awful lot of depth underneath these galleries but that is that that's the what are we going to call it the mausoleum i guess a pair of small rocky islands connected uh, by a village of still houses. Okay, I found a large metal symbol for the eye of the universe inside a burned out building. Yes, we did. That was that one over there. It looks like there are other buildings outside, actually. Maybe little huts and things. Oh, where do I want to go? Um, and, oh yeah, of course, the submerged structure. A large metal structure suspended by chains. It can be entered by swimming from below. There's a sealed vault illuminated by a green fire inside the structure. Right. Okay, yeah, it was illuminated by a green fire, which is the same green fire as we saw in the mausoleum, but also in the uh, the slideshow, of course, we saw that there was a green flame within this thing just as it was sealed shut. Hmm. So, let's head back to the stranger. And, oh, I want to visit everywhere, basically. But let's start, let's start at the River Lowlands. There's obviously something else that I need to see here. Right, I'm clearly not going to take such a cavalier attitude to docking as I did last time. That would be preposterous. There we go. Much more civilised. <laughs> now I'm being thrown around, of course. Okay. See? Landed it just fine. Nothing to worry about. So, let's head through again. Uh, I... I don't even read. Oh, hello. Right, there's a set of stairs all the way over there. Do you know what? Screw it. Forget the raft. Oh. Oh, that's most definitely a thing. Uh, okay, I thought that was a design on the outside of it. It looks like it's just... Um, just moss. Now, that's something else that's interesting. Something else that I don't quite understand. There's an awful lot of moss on the rooftops of buildings... Fine, thanks. Uh, all right, game, prove me wrong. But I have seen moss on the rooftops of buildings that kind of make it look like these places have been underwater before. Oh, I know where I am. <laughs> How funny. Look where it is. Wait, I'm sure this building was, this door wasn't here. Oh, it's not marked on the inside. That's sneaky. So that is the, the other entrance. Uh, yeah, which drops us into this raging river here. Uh, I wonder, can I... Oh, so close! Hmm. I'd like to get on top of there if I can. I, it'd be interesting to see... There we go. If there is anything of interest on these... Uh, these rocky ridges. Doesn't look like there is, but... Okay. So, let's accelerate our way down here. 
So this is the back end of that picture house. Now, I, ow. Um, oh, hello. Oh, and that, that is the planet that we see on those pictures in the gallery. Now, that's the reel that I picked up before with the single design. Uh, so these are, look at the number of slots. These are just racks for slide reels. Right, well, let's go and, uh, oh, poo, we don't have a lantern, do we? Ah, crap. Uh, right, well, there's no sense in putting this down until we can track down a lantern. Where be there a lantern? Uh, right, let's, hold on, before I wander off too far, I'm just going to leave this in the doorway so I can come back and grab it easily if need be. There is the sun. Oh, there's a gallery across the way, isn't there? We can go and grab a lantern from there, but I want to just explore... Oh, there's a smashed one. Rubbish. Explore this first. See if there's anything of interest. Huh, some sort of triangular chest set by the looks of it. And what be up here? Oh, this leads... Okay. This leads back to where I first docked on the very first raft that I was on. And then promptly got washed away before I could do anything. So let's head on over to... The Galleria grab ourselves a lantern so that we can see what this planet projector projection slide is so i wonder if the planet is of some sort of cultural significance maybe because of course it appears on these images and is an important marker on those paintings Okay, let's go and get this slotted into the projector, then I'll come back for the slide reel. Oh, <laughs> it gets mighty dark in there when you actually plug the lantern in, ironically enough. Right. Let's get this viewed before uh, the dam introduces us to another tidal wave. So, interesting, we've got four symbols right off the bat on this one, and we already know three of them. So on the left is that sarcophagus thing. It looks it looks almost like a huge three-eyed insect. But there's that sarcophagus thing that was in the big diving bell. We've got the Eye of the Universe on the right. And down at the bottom, we've got one of the lantern things that we can't work out how to operate. And at the top is... Okay, so it's a planet with rings and it's got a moon. So that's our system. Oh, interesting. So this is a picture of our star system. Let's make sure we've got everything there. We've got giants... Deep in the Quantum Moon, the Twins, uh, Timberhalf and the Atle Rock. We've got Brittle Hollow and the Lantern, and... Wait, hold on. Is that... <gasps> I think that's Dark Bramble, before it was Brambletized. This is an old, old picture. Oh, hello. Oh, wait. So the eye sent out some sort of... Hello? Where's that? The eye sent out a pulse. Which... Is that the pulse that attracted the Nomai, I wonder? No, it can't be, because Dark Bramble was already split apart by that point, I think. But it reached another star system. Reached that planet with the rings and its moon. <gasps> These creatures come from the moon. The moon of that planet. So the planet with the rings that they were observing was the the body which their home revolves around. Oh, they picked up the signal from the eye of the universe and that set the green flame off. And concentrated... Oh, hello. Concentrated something straight into their eyes. Hello. Okay. You look significantly more fluffy than the ones I've seen in the other pictures. So they saw the projection from the eye of the universe. <laughs> and stood jaw agape. <laughs> Got awfully excited, waving arms. Come over here, take a look at this. Stand, jaw agape, look up there. It's a thing. I've seen a thing before and it looks like that. Let's go get the thing. Oh no, and the rest of it's ruined. Wait, hold on. The planet. <gasps> They're building the stranger. They completed the stranger. And then what? Left? 
Oh, 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 there's... They are solar sails. They're solar sails. Zoom, 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 zoom. Wait, it turned green halfway through, apparently. It went so fast that they, they zoomed into a green thing. Screech to a halt. Handbrake turn. And set up residence here. And what? Just stayed? Holy shit. Well, this is a discovery and a half. So, like I said, I wonder if... Oh! It makes so much sense. The eye was present in this star system. And the echoes of the eye reached their home planet. It maketh all of the sense. Oh, that's so cool. So, again, it's like history repeating itself. This race... Uh, at least this detachment or, or concentration of this race, their whole purpose became to chase down the end of the iron, and that was what the stranger here was purpose built for. <laughs> but it doesn't explain that. <laughs> What's that? So this is to so the green. I'm, if I read this right, the green flame is some sort of condensed essence of that echo of the eye calling from the neighboring star system well hot piss um <laughs> that's a revelation and a half isn't it okay so this is the home the home planet the home moon of this this race that kind of looks like some sort of Almost like an owl. Like an owl reindeer creature. Okay. Um, right, owl reindeer creature. I need to uh, <laughs> just take a quick walk and, uh, and take all this in. How much time have I got? Um, uh, sorry, what? Why is the dam fine? Oh god. Whoa. Wait. Oh. That's why the dam's fine. The dam only starts to break once these solar sails come out. Right, hold on. Can we see anything here? The sun's obviously down a bit because we can see it being reflected off of the twins now are we noticeably getting further away I think we are hold on it's a bit hard to tell from down here oh here we go I'm half tempted, as awfully boring as this would be, I'm half tempted to just stand and stare out the window for a bit, just to try and get a bearing on if we do skedaddle out of this system. The sun, by rights, should be getting increasingly larger. But I wonder if, when it starts to go supernova, we catch the solar winds, zoom on out, and uh, kiss goodbye to it out the window. Okay, well, that, that's a long way away anyway. Let's not, uh, let's not dawdle for now. I could... Do you know what? I could potentially make it up onto that ridge, I think. And make it over there. Let's go explore that. I'm <laughs> after saying that I need some sort of structure to my, uh, my exploratory... Uh... Oh, no, I'm never going to make it over there, am I? No, not in a million years. Um, although, actually, perhaps from over here I could... If I'm quick enough, is this area is going to get thoroughly drowned out by the uh, the dam once it pops? Oh, am I going to get? Hold on. Yes. No. Poo. Poo. Oh crap! <laughs> I thought I was there. Uh, up there maybe. Oh. Balls. No. Bad news. Bad news. What? Ah! Okay. Um, I, I, I fancy exploring the rivers. <laughs> Personally. <laughs> I don't need to be up on that ridge. 
Um, oh, hello. Here's a raft. Let's see if we can't make a daring escape before bad things happen. As they inevitably will. Okay. Let's be going. So, wait, have I been... Have I been along this particular river before? Oh no, of course, because this river didn't exist last time I came down here, because... I've only been down here once the dam popped. Which isn't going to be too far away, I don't think. So let's see... Ooh, let's see if I can make it through a, one or two of these buildings over here before the whole place gets torn down. Ooh, that's got an interesting design on it. Okay, let's see if I can make it to this dock. Uh, that way. That way. There we go. Full speed ahead. Right, so let's quickly survey over here. Do we have anything? Oh no, it wasn't a little it wasn't a little shack that was outside of that place. It was just the corner of the old building that's been burnt to a cinder. Right, what about these buildings? Real, real quick whistle stop tour here. Uh, oh, hello. Right, you're playing a musical instrument by the shore. Some more crates. That image I think I've seen before. Seems to be lots of family portraits. Um, portraying some sort of happy family here. Is that really the case, though? Is it really? Uh, right, there was nothing up here. I want to explore this little shack. Because this has got uh, designs on it. What that? Stick. Uh, no, nothing down here. Anything up in the loft space? More family pictures. Okay, there's a lamp. Oh, hello. Wait, little mini projector? Okay. I'll bite. Uh, oh. So drop it there. Hello. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Is that some sort of underwater cave entrance? Right. <laughs> uh, wait, hold on. There wasn't... Was there any sort of control on this to sort of advance a slide? Or... No, there was not. Okay, cool. I don't know if I've got any time remaining to explore what that might be hinting at. But we can give it ah! ah! Oh god, that was close. <laughs> we can give it a try nonetheless. Down there, there it is. Where's this gonna take us? Ooh. Okay. Funky. Oh, there's definitely a thing up there. Need to be hurrying this up because that dam's going to pop any second. Uh... Oh, this is under the stairs. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> what? This is an alternate staircase? Ooh. So this is taking us... I think this is taking us above... Ah, crap. I think this is taking us above the gallery, which is a good thing, actually, because this means this shouldn't get drowned out. What the hell have I found? And there's even more up there. Oh, I wonder if that goes to the roof where that sort of antenna-looking thing is. Right. I need to be careful, because this building is about to lurch violently to one side. I think it's going to go to the left, maybe? E or the right. Okay, but that's... Oh, hello! Another slide reel, yes! But that's fine. So... Oh, interesting. That looks... That looks suspiciously like this building with the the planet that, um, that their home orbits around it. Okay, uh, right, I'll remember that slide reel. What's on the slide reel? Oh, interesting. That's the symbol that is above each of the gallery doors. That green symbol. Right, let's explore up here first of all. 
Oh, it does come out on the roof. Bloody marvellous. Oh, sun looks significantly smaller now. I think we are ski-daddling out. Oh. Oh. <gasps> These are aerials. They're communicating. Oh, interesting. They are communicating with the other galleries. So that's the one that we're still on top of. That... Wait, let's have a look at the design. That is the one that we first visited. Just there. And look, it's got an area on top as well. Uh, that one it looks like it's recessed into a, into a stone embankment. Uh, maybe there, I guess. No, it wasn't there. That's the bridge to uh, the Bangle building. That's where I first started out. That, that is, where you at? This. So, it looks like this building. Oh wait, we're getting, so there's electrical field f feed from this building, electrical feed from there and there, but not, not this line. So I need to do something there that'll do a thing that will allow a thing to happen. That's my analysis of the situation. Right, let's, um, we're probably not a million miles away from the end of the loop here, which means this tower is likely to collapse pretty soon. Wait, what's, hold on, is it, is it tilting more and more? No, it's not. There's a sun there. Is that, is that a significant thing? Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, why am I going this way? <laughs> There's a perfectly good exit on the roof. Let's hop off of here. Quickly move my ass over to... Oh, God, I've just realised as well. I don't... I don't remember if I've used this projection house in this loop. Oh, shit. Those, those bridges aren't the thing that take this building down, are they? I feel like I should... Ow! That hurt. I should probably drop that there. And grab one of these before the whole thing goes down. Also, it's bad news when the tower does go down, because that signifies that the loop is about to end. Right. Throw that in there. Out! Get out! Oh, I need to come back to that this projection house as well, don't I? Because there's a lower floor that I haven't yet explored. Oh, crap. That's not good. Although, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to need to jet around for very much longer. You see what I mean? Kelp and, and stuff on the roofs of these buildings, even though they haven't been underwater for more than like a minute or two. Right. What, pray tell, is this? So, no symbols around the periphery, but we do have the gallery symbol here. So... That's one of the creatures entering the gallery. They walk in. Viewing an image. Okay. Oh, so these... Wait, hold on. Are these actually memories of these creatures dumped out onto these reels? Or do they have, like, a camera device? Right, what's the betting is going to remove the lantern from that picture? There's the planet. Ooh, looky there. I'll just yoink this away, thank you kindly. Oh, and they were going in with the artifacts. They go pouring in through the door. In each of the galleries. There's the one that we haven't found yet. Oh, you tease. <laughs> you absolute tease. Okay, well, clearly this is how we were supposed to find out about the lantern. <laughs> On the planet picture. Right, let's take a look at... So the tunics that they're wearing... Right, interesting. The tunics that they're wearing have got those almost like forked branch symbols. And, oh look, the bracelet as well. The bracelet on the left hand with the, the green balls. But those forked symbols, I'm sure... Do any of them have a brace... a necklace on? I think they've all got necklaces on, actually. But I'm sure those symbols are on uh, the necklaces and those green stones. 
But then I think I think this race's writing is kind of very, very fluid and very very much uh sort of looking like roots and branches in, in their design. Oh my god, we've got two more of it. Oh. <laughs> right, hold on. Oh, this one's this one's spacey. This one's particularly spacey. This one is centering around the eye of the universe. I've got a horrible feeling. I've dillied and dallied far too long to actually view this. Um, but screw it. See what we can do. Light reel. Boom. Badder. Boom. Right, what's in this one? So we do have icons around the edge. We've got the... Again, the same... Oh, wait. Oh, no. I thought this was just a copy of the one that we've looked at because the symbols are the same as the previous one. Although the eye in the middle is shining onto the eye on the right. Oh, wasn't the eye in the middle of the, the other one, was it? It was the, the planet and the moon. So, this is... What's this? Is this some sort of observatory? The eye is witnessed. They've got different coloured tunics. I wonder if that denotes some sort of rank. And he's got a very special wand in his hand. Shining a light on... Oh, scanning. That's some sort of scan of the eye of the universe. These are definitely some sort of owl creatures. Got the green flame there as well, which came from the echo of the eye. Wait, and he's... What's what's going on? Is he picturing one of their race turning the eye red? Oh! Oh, well, that's ominous. Did they want to destroy the eye? <gasps> Look at that. The eye has turned our system completely barren. That was our system there, because we've got... Yeah, we've got all of the known planets. Also, the, the stranger is there, just to the left. Just to the lower left of the blinding flash. So they were looking to destroy the stranger as well. <gasps> oh my gosh. Sacrificing themselves in the process. But why? Oh, over time... Nature would take over. Life would begin anew. Oh, wait. No, that was not what they wanted. Oh, maybe I got this all wrong. Maybe they were foreseeing what would happen if the eye of the universe remained in the system. Did this race chase the eye of the universe out of this system? Are they guarding the system? Are these guys the true guardians of the Nomai and the Harthians? <gasps> oh god. Oh. Oh, well, okay. They turn nefarious. Oh, look! They're about to destroy the Eye Shrine! Oh my... Holy crap! Right, what's going on in the background of this one? It looks like two of the creatures are stood in some sort of circle. That circle looks like the circle that's on the ground in the, the two landing docking bays. Uh, there's chains at the top there. Is this... Oh, this is... Was that the casket? No, that's the that's the landing bay. That's the docking bay. You can see the ramps leading up to the middle and there's a circle at the top. That's That's the docking bay. Or one of the docking bays, anyway. What's that bottom left? That's the outside. That's a picture of the outside of the stranger with the docking bay in the very bottom left there, just between the burn marks. And it's still there. Oh, I love this. I love this. Piecing together all this shit. Oh, hold on. Right, so the stranger is now in the distance. Uh... So what? Had they planned to leave the system... Look, that's the system as it was eons ago. And again, you can tell because Dark Bramble is not as dark and brambly as it was up in the top right there. Okay. Oh. That's it cloaked and remaining stationed in the system. Oh. <gasps> I think that this race, like the Nomai, were trying to find the Eye of the Universe, except these guys caught up with it in our system. They 
pursued it with a re religious reverence, much like the Nomai did. But when they actually caught up to it and saw it for what it was actually worth, they saw that it was a malevolent force. It was going to destroy the entire system and the stranger. And they would die and just rot forevermore. So they realized that their pursuit was in vain. And with anger, they marched on the eye shrine, destroyed it, purged their people of the desire to chase down the eye of the universe. And then, what are they doing in the docking bay? Hold on. So these these two these two are stood there like they're standing guard, and then they part just on the last frame as if they're letting something in or out. But then they finally resign themselves to stationing themselves in the system forevermore. So I wonder whether they chase the Eye of the Universe away from the system, which is why the Nomai never found it when they picked up the Eye's echoes. This loop seems to be taking an awfully... Wait! Oh, does time pause when we're looking at the slide reels? <laughs> I think it's time for another movie! Right, hold on. Good God, we're finding some crap out this time, aren't we? Right, hold on. Are there any more? No, there are not. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I realised last time as well I was I was desperately worried about my oxygen levels and uh, keeping my head above water, completely forgetting that I'm wearing a spacesuit. Oh, so this is crazy. All right, get this one in before the loop comes crashing to an end. Oh, hello. This is the next set of uh, the next set of waves. So this is wave two. Is this going to result in another one of these creatures binding that sarcophagus in a second chain? I wonder. Yep, looking just like the other reel. Again, this one's got the necklace with the shapes in that green crystal. Okay. <gasps> Something else has just fallen into place. So, yep, they light it up. The first chain's already applied, and the second wraps itself around with the two waves symbol. Right. Now, that's an ordinary flame. Hadn't thought anything of it before because flames are usually orange, right? But that's an ordinary flame. It's not green. It's not associated. Oh, of course, that would make sense. If the green flames that are around are associated with the eye of the universe and then they purged all desire to track it down and worship it, it would make sense that they then stopped using the green flames and just reverted to normal, normal heat energy. Holy crap. <laughs> I love this. Oh, this is so cool. I just realized we're finishing off in exactly the same place. Um, yeah, a realization as well. We found a wee while ago that there... Where's it gone? Oh, it's, it's one under the water now. But underneath that shack where we found the artifact, there's ghost matter there. And I was trying to work out how the hell ghost matter got on board the stranger. But I suppose... We've only found that one concentration. So there is a chance, I guess, that these creatures actually brought ghost matter aboard the stranger to maybe study it or use it somehow. But the other possibility is that these guys were here long before the Nomai arrived. If these are the creatures that actually banished the eye of the universe from this system and moved it along, it would make sense that the Nomai wouldn't arrive until later. Maybe... Well, I mean, we we can see plenty of... Oh, shit. Maybe these guys were wiped out by the ghost matter as well. Maybe... What up? Okay, it's not a thing. I thought that might have been another slide reel. Uh, no, it's a lamp. Um, maybe them shuffling into these gallery buildings and then holding the artifacts in the circle around the green flame. Well... Looks like this is coming to an end again. Does anything else happen anywhere else? I wonder. Because if we're in this region, we can see, obviously, the loop's about to end when that comes crashing down. Uh... Hmm. Interesting. Right, finish the thought before moving on to the next one. Um... <laughs> oh, we're out. Um... 
yeah, maybe the ghost matter killed these guys off as well as the Nomai. But um, yeah, I suppose we'll ponder a little bit more on that next time. Guys, thank you so, so much for joining me. This is becoming a... Oh, of course, I'm, I'm completely out of jetpack fuel. And I'm willing to bet we're well outside of the system. Yeah, look, there's the sun. <gasps> we are well outside of the system. Oh, incredible. Uh, yeah, anyway, if you'd like to leave a like or you get to leave a comment, um, I'll try and collect my thoughts before next time. Uh, pop those down, as usual, and... Uh, oh, I'm about to get zapped by an electrical wire down here, I think, aren't I? Yeah, <laughs> let's see which end gets me first. And uh, also, don't forget to hit subscribe so you know when the next episode goes live, and it would be awesome to see you over on the Discord. But until next time, uh, take care of yourselves, and bye-bye! Ow! That's done.